Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach, and welcome to comics. <laughs> My last couple of videos keep getting cut off when I'm trying to introduce a new intro. Uh, but anyway, uh, this is going to be a short video. They just uh, released the pictures of uh, Brie Larson in the Captain Marvel costume. Now we don't know if this is the final costume, you know, the origin movies, they usually go through a couple different variations, but the reaction was uh, not good. Um, and the funny thing is that there's almost like, it's not quite a meme, but it's almost just something like people keep saying, uh, she looks like this, <laughs> like, cause she's got this expression in most of the pictures. And, um, I mean, the first thing you'd probably say is unhappy, but like the more I looked at it, the more I kept coming up with this like weird analogies. It's like, okay, so this is just, this is like not a very intellectual <laughs> video. It's just me roasting her in the costume. So the first thing I had to uh, say is that for some reason, and I think about this every single time I see Brie Larson, she looks like she smells. I don't know why, just like my experience with similar looking women in my life, but I found that there's a, some women, they're literally hot headed, like they have these really warm heads and warm scalps, which gives them like these warm, sweaty hair and they just kind of smell funky all the time. So she definitely looks like that. But um, she, it also kind of looks like <clears throat> if my downstairs neighbor who smokes weed all the time got cast as a superhero. There's also this weird kind of vibe like it's a costume that has a better costume underneath it. <laughs> it's like it's like the cold weather version of her costume and there's some like form fitting, actually cool looking uh, costume beneath it. She also kind of looks like like a like a waitress or maybe like a folk singer who married rich, but her little troublesome stepdaughter <laughs> always wants her to dress as like a superhero at uh, parties. But um, yeah, she does not look happy. She, the, the look I get is one of regret. Like she's an indie artist who, you know, she just wanted to play like single mothers who have like abortions in the bathroom at their factory job and. She looks like every time, you know, she gets a uh, script, she says to her agent, do I get to cry? Um, she looks like she cries a lot and she's not, just not very happy and fun. This whole project has basically been doomed from the beginning because there's actually no demand for it. People liked Captain Marvel before, like 10, 20 years ago. They liked her. They didn't love her. They liked her. Then, and then politics and these weird kind of studio issues where Marvel Studios didn't own the movie rights to a lot of their most popular female characters, they just started forcing, we gotta have a female superhero, we gotta have a female superhero, we gotta have a female tentpole superhero. So they started really pushing uh, Kelly, du so Kelly Sue DeConnick's very, very mediocre run, and then rebooting it basically every year and a half. Uh, literally, this character is in our like, fifth re reboot. Captain Marvel, the comic right now, is selling as poorly or worse than the other SJW comics that were uh, canceled. But of course, they can't cancel the book right before they're, they're about to start filming the movie. So we're just trucking along with this absolutely joyless character. But the biggest roast I ever saw of this little sour face on uh, Brie Larson is she looked like she just read a Captain Marvel comic. <laughs> <laughs> she absolutely so you know nobody nobody's ever pretended like she's a comic book fan but i'm sure they're like oh yeah captain marvel she's very you know popular like her agent and all these um type of things were saying and then you kind of find out that it <laughs> isn't exactly true or maybe that was the face when she like searched captain marvel on youtube and she just <laughs> saw a bunch of videos roasting and she's like Oh, imagine the face you would make if you realized you were going to be starring in uh, Marvel's least popular uh, franchise ever. I'm, this is looking like a one and done. I just, they cast a boring and bland indie artist. There's no enthusiasm. It just looks like a disaster. So anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up. Thanks for watching. And <laughs> people are getting close. I'm just going to stop. Thanks. Bye.